finally we're getting back to Star vs. the Force of Evil reviews, and I'm hoping to get several of them out this week, just... FYI. In this episode, Sleepover, Star, Janna, Jackie, Ponyhead, and this forgettable character whose name I don't even remember. No offense to the character, it's not that she's bad, I just, she leaves no impression on me. Are having a sleepover at Marco's, and Marco's kind of participating, he's trying to impress Jackie while she's around, and Ponyhead decides that she wants to play a game that she brought. It's basically a computerized truth or truth, I guess, where the game can read whether or not you're lying and force you to tell the truth via some unspecified punishment. The name of the game is actually Truth or Punishment. And starts out with a simple question, what's your favorite color? Everybody has to answer. And immediately you know that something here is going to go wrong for Marco, because He ends up being the butt monkey in a lot of these episodes. And sure enough, it works its way through a couple of questions and finally comes to the question that this situation was handmade for it to ask. Who do you have a crush on? Everybody answers. Janna's answer is the best because everything that Janna does is the best. And Marco is, of course, forced to confess that he has a crush on Jackie, which she seems to genuinely have not realized, which I thought was interesting. And Jackie is predictably cool with it. In fact, after she hears some of his reasonings, she actually seems like she's pretty receptive to the idea, which I thought was pretty neat. But we learn that someone here is not telling the truth, but everyone in the room thinks that they're telling the truth, leading to Star giving this big speech about how the truth is a fluid thing that can change from moment to moment, especially when you're dealing with emotions, and effectively gets one of those old Star Trek talk the computer to death kind of scenes. And at the very end of the episode, on its last moments of life, the machine does reveal that it was Star who had the secret crush, but we don't learn who it is. Okay. Let's not beat around the bush here. I have interacted with the fandom for the show enough to know that Star does develop feelings for Marco. Even if I hadn't known that, though, I think it would have been pretty obvious to me who had the secret crush in this episode. There have been a couple of hints in the past, I guess, that Janna has a thing for Marco, but I always saw that as more of a gag. And as tolerable as I did find Pony had to be in this episode, she and... I'm trying to remember her name, Starfan something. They aren't important enough recurring characters for it to really be either of them. And we see very plainly that Jackie hadn't really ever thought of Marco that way until after he admitted that he had a crush on her, at which point it seems like maybe she is developing a reciprocal crush. But that is clearly happening as the game is realizing that someone has unknowingly lied. That only leaves Star by deductive reasoning. And while I'd be totally okay if she had a thing for, like, Janna, for example, because I almost have a thing for Janna. It's obvious that it's going to be Marco. It's just, it's very obvious. The two of them are extremely close friends. They share emotional moments all the time. They have great, deep, revealing conversations about each other all the freaking time. They've grown so much as people together. I don't know that I necessarily ship it. I don't know that I'm that worried about them getting together that I would ship it, but I can definitely understand why people do. They're not just cute together, but they're very good together as people, as characters. So while this was a very well put together scenario, and I do think it worked out really well for what the intention was, it was kind of predictable to me. Though at the same time I think maybe it was supposed to be, maybe we were supposed to see this coming. Maybe this episode was mostly built to confirm things. It confirmed to Jackie that Marco had a crush on her, though I am stretching the definition of confirmed a little bit here. Maybe this episode was designed to also confirm to the audience that Star had a thing for Marco, which she doesn't even seem to have necessarily realized yet, which I find interesting. But then there's the little teaser at the end where we don't actually get confirmation, so I kind of feel like this episode was kind of confirming stuff for the audience, but also trolling them a little bit, which I can definitely appreciate. All in all, it was a good episode. I really liked this one a lot. Though I will say right now, it needed to be like an hour longer with just the game asking Janna random questions, because what answers we did get from her were just excellent. She's rapidly becoming my favorite character in the show. All of that said though, guys, what did you think of this episode? If you have seen it, let's get a discussion going in the comment section down below. I need to start saying that a little bit slower. Either way though, this has been AJ22, and I will talk to you guys later.